their accomplishment and um, things worked out the way they worked out. We're glad to have them back. No, I'm sorry, Rashid Rice. Oh, I'm sorry, Rashid. I'm sorry. Yeah, That's right. Kareem. Yeah, I'm stuck on Kareem. I know he's coming. <laughs> I know he's coming in here after me. Um, so Rashid, yes, he's uh, um, he's as good as we were hoping he would be. We'll start on that today. So with that time, Jerry. <clears throat> and the decision to bring Kareem Hunt up, uh, you know, what have you seen of him, you know, throughout this last time we talked to you that made you say he's ready for him? Yeah, so I thought, I thought he had a good week of practice last week. He took the majority of the um, scout team reps <clears throat> and um, looks like he's in pretty good shape. So uh, now the next step is just uh, getting him in the game. He, you know, so he'll rotate in and we'll see, see how he does. And how do you see that workload getting split up between? Yeah, I don't know, Adam. We'll just see how see how things go. I'll play play it by ear with him. We've got three good running backs, and uh, so you know, we just get him back into the back into the swing of things. See how see how it rolls. Andy, last week <coughs> you got much of a uh, chance to get a sense of how up to date he can be with, with what you're doing. I know you're a scout team a lot, so I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like his retention was pretty good. So, um, and th this week will help too, just going through it. <clears throat> but he, he's got a pretty good feel on what we're doing. So. Andy, what do you like just about <coughs> running game as um, we're so far the first three weeks? Yeah, um, I think, first of all, compliments to Heck and the offensive line and and, uh, and the players. I mean, they've done a great job with that. and. Uh, we've we've had positive yards, and that's a, it's a nice addition to, to everything. In this league, you got to be able to mix mix things in there, and that gives you gives you a good power run game, and, and still be able to throw the ball. I know people want to talk about a great running game anyway, but just with the way the teams have defended you over the past few years, uh, how vital is that to just to be able to, to, to run when you see the bosses that you're seeing? Yeah, no, it, that's important. It's important. Um, you know, you always try to keep defenses honest, uh, and they're doing the same thing back to you. <clears throat> so it's a little bit of a cat and mouse game on the number of people in the box, but uh, it's been productive. So we've been, we've had good positive yards from it. Coach, in your game prep, what gives you optimism that Travis, by his standards, will be able to have more production maybe starting on Sunday? Yeah. So. Uh, you know, I, I know people are saying that he he's old or whatever, has distractions and all this, and uh, the defenses don't think that. They're, they're uh, <laughs> and so we have a, another receiver that plays opposite him that has a lot of yards and catches, and that's how this thing goes. So um, uh, Trav Trav is fine. He just keeps being keeps being Trav. He's, he works his tail off and. He hasn't lost a step in all those things. And that's not, and he's not distracted. That's not the case. He, uh, um, people are, you know, people are making sure they have him taken care of by some of these defenses. He, he seems to be one of the kind of guys who, listen, he wants targets, he wants to, but it doesn't really bother him if he knows what, there's double teams and other things are open. How nice is that to have someone who's not selfish in that way? Yeah. And, no, he literally know. I mean, he does know that, and he collects people. And then you have the checkdowns that we had last week. These big gains off the of check. Or um, Noah standing in the middle of the field by himself, uh, uh, four being able to get one-on-one -on -one uh, situations. Uh, that's uh, that's a tribute. And Trav knows it. I mean, he literally said he came off the field and goes, "Man, just keep dialing him up and and uh, let him do that." So. Any characteristics, um, you, get, you haven't coached against uh, Jim Harbaugh in a while. You just got a few games of him back here in the National Football League. Any same characteristics as before, the way you remember him when he was coaching at San Francisco? Yeah, first of all, he's a phenomenal football coach. Um, and he's proven that at every level. So, um, uh, And that will be no different here with the, with the Chargers. And it's a physical football team. That's uh, When you play them, you know that. And, on both sides of the ball, special teams. They're going to be sound. Uh, they're going to be able to, for everything that's said, they're going to be able to throw the ball as well as they run the ball. Um, so you've got to, you got to be ready for a complete, complete game. Their defenses are, um, they're going to give you a variety of looks. You got to be on your game 
uh, when you play their their defense. They're one of the top defenses in the NFL right now. So it's a tribute to how they how they've gone about their business there. Andy, um, I know you obviously like Rushy and drafted him last year, but are there things about his game maybe you didn't fully appreciate until you until now? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. No, I would tell you, Adam, that he, we felt he was pretty good when he was here. Um, I believe his, he led the league in rushing the one year, and so that's pretty good, pretty good accomplishment. And um, things worked out the way they worked out. We're glad to have him back. No, I'm sorry, Rashi Rice. Oh, I'm sorry, Rashi. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. Kareem. Yeah, stuck on Kareem. I know he's coming. <laughs> I know he's coming in here after me. Um, so Rashi, yes, he's uh, um, he's as good as we were hoping he would be. Um, I, I, the thing you don't know, Adam, when you get into this is the work ethic, and he works his tail off. His willingness to get with Pat and to listen, uh, you know, to a hey, let's work in this area to get with Kels and drain Kels of some of his knowledge, and. Um, He's very receptive to all that. Andy, just one other thing about the running game. Obviously, you had some faith in Carson, but to see him do what he did last week, how, how reassured are you going forward that, OK, that's that's more established than perhaps you would have thought? Yeah, listen, I, I thought he did a nice job for his first game. <clears throat> I thought he did a real nice job. And um, he's got to fix a couple things on protection. Um, but. He'll take care of that, um, and uh, the run game. He he was hitting the right holes and working the daylight. He was uh, finishing runs, and he I mean, corrected the trying to elbow guys going through with his carry hand and cleaned that up from the week before. So, but he gives you an honest down, and he's gonna he's gonna run hard. He's a big kid. But he's gonna he's gonna come at you. Coach, with the, with the last three, but Steve, <coughs> Nate, and then Sam. What's Steve for coaches? With as many close games as like these down to the wire games you've had early on in the season, do you find it to be tougher on your guys as opposed to you know later in the season, or does it, it doesn't matter? I think I think the guys expect uh, to come into these things playing four quarters. When you play when you play good teams, um, you, you've got to come in that with that mindset um, and the. I think we're all seeing the parity in this league is ridiculous. So, I mean, everybody on any given Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whenever we play, um, that you're, uh, you're going to get an honest game. And it gives every city an opportunity to have a potential winner. And that's what uh, the league was striving for, and you're, you're seeing it. And so we, we expect to get the best every every Sunday, yeah, or every game day. Great. Andy, when you watch your defense, how much are you noticing that other teams are trying to get their tight ends involved, um, considering how good you guys have been generating pressure and obviously um, being at the corner position? Just is there is there something that you've sort of seen there about? Tight yeah, ends? that's observant because that really the tight ends, kind of your quarterback's best friend, those inside guys that play inside uh, the hash number area. Um, those are real quarterback friendly guys. So the, the thing the NFL has right now are some really good tight ends that, that just aren't blockers, but they can get out and, and match up uh, uh, with the safeties in this league and nickels. So, um, you know, our, our safeties work on that like crazy. Our nickels work on that like crazy. And uh, those are big bodies that you, you got you know, you to try to leverage. Um, they're normally bigger than what you are on the back end there. So you got to really be disciplined with it. Sam? Andy, Patrick mentioned that his fundamentals he thought were off. What's well, just the process this week of fine tuning that? Yeah, so he, he's very hard on himself about that. And um, and so, I, you know, we, we just go back and work your, your basic fundamentals techniques um, and, and get into a rhythm. So. Uh, during during the game and to work on it in practice, but he's uh, I, I don't ever worry about him uh, working on those things, so he'll he'll be fine. Okay, thanks, coach. Thank you.